Hello, this is Vipo with Dragon Blogger. Um, today I'm showcasing Dungeon Alchemist on Steam. Um, we received this game. It's a uh, dungeon creation game. It's very unique and has auto generation levels, stuff like that. So let me show you a few things. Um, let's say you want to make a tavern. Okay. Say, let's just go ahead and make this whole place a tavern right here. We have that. So to confirm it, you just click that little check mark in the middle and it starts the generation. Let's see, it's say it made a, some sort of factory housing. So unique, it, it, does, it does a really good job. If you don't like it altogether, you can just go ahead and trash it right here. It's not like it matters because it was generated you didn't take time building it another unique thing so there's also settings you can um take away objects lights walls probably shouldn't take away walls but you can windows doors so you want to just make an empty room let's see how it looks so let's delete this Here we go. I have a blank room, no doors, no nothing. Now let me show you something. You go to file, you can not only save as and save it to your computer directly, you can save to the game. You can open something from that from a file previously, and you can create a new one. But here's the best thing exporting now printing it you can get it perfect size for a printer you can get image only you can do that you can get just top down instead of having any 3d or you can get perspective with shadows a limited perspective without shadows but still 3d type feel you can get high quality low quality depending on how you want it not to mention the very very good grid size can scale it up, scale it down. You can transparency off. You can change the color of those lines if you want. A grid. You can make it gray if your printer doesn't have ink, uh, colored ink. You can also do foundry exports, fantasy grounds unity exports, roll twenty exports, universal VTT exports, and video exports. You can save it as video files like MP4, Web, WebM, and low quality of those two. Now, let's go back. Let's say, I didn't like it like that. Let's say, let, let's not generate a building just, you know, like that. It's a... Uh... Edit this part, please. It's over here, Matt. So there, we have a new scale. So how about we do, let's do a dungeon. But let's say I want this part to be a dungeon. I want these to be dungeon cells. I want a treasury all along this wall. Now, it's absolutely fantastic generation. It just makes it its so real. It's so, so authentic. It, it's absolutely amazing. And I look at the detail on this stuff too. The graphics, it's, it's purely amazing. And the fact that an AI can do this, it's, it's interesting. Let's say you want to regenerate that room. You don't like it. Too much gold. Bam. Dragon's head. More gold. Rubies, gems that chest it's beautiful now let's remove these rooms there's a remove tool right here draw room remove room and then this is edit room so if you just want to select one room let's say I don't like this room right here just regenerate that room do you want to change it armory bam 
pretty endless. It's it's fantastic. So now we just take this bottom corner, drag all across, delete. I'll give everything back. I'm not exactly sure why it puts trees, but it's kind of a nice touch when you're not generating anything. Let's say for now, let's place objects. Let's say in the middle, I want to find a chalice. Okay. Let's scale up that chalice, make it bigger. Now I'm liking that chalice, but I'm not sure if that's the right color. Then let's color it. Let's look at the brush size, the density. Do this. You can start spreading around objects. So let's delete, let's delete them. Let's say you want to put like a stone, some sort of stone area. Let's start making that. Let's make that right there. Okay. Well, that's not really fit your vibe, is it? How about get bones spread them across? It's a graveyard. Bam. You have a bone covered battlefield at your disposal. All right, now after there's a wide selection of objects. There's furniture, there's helmets, armories, chairs, counters, what you can think of, it's it's there. Beds, look how many there is. It's just endless. There's just so much for an AI to choose from, especially yourself. Lava font, scale that up. Look at that. Screens, more armory, mirrors, there's nature, ice blocks, look at that. Pieces of ice, there's insects, cobwebs, wall plants, make something like Last of Us, there's fungi, look at all that, potted plants. Trees, all right. Storage chests, pottery, crates, baskets, bags, and there's utility. There's animal cages. There's carts. Uh, there's dungeon stuff. There's graveyard stuff. Like I said before, let's get some of these. It's just there's so much content, and then library. There's magic. Force sphere. Let's look at that. That is dope. Absolutely dope. What about a wall of force? Oh, well, that's sick too, isn't it? Wow. Let's say you want to make some sort of realm with that. Some door. Amazing. Games. You have chess. You have chess pieces. We have a dollhouse. I don't even know about this one. That's really sick. There's snow golem. A little toy doll. That's really creepy. I'm gonna get nightmares. But that's so cool. Now, let me remove all these. There's tokens. Character tokens. Right now, they have some limited amounts of tokens. But they do have them. They have one for a bard, one for a barbarian, a monk, a druid, a sorcerer, and then a paladin. That's rather sick. Now, you can also change the lighting of the day. You can change the rotation of the sunlight. You can brighten this up. Sun down, sun up. That's brightness up, brightness down. Change how it looks. Pink, green, red. You want to do different environments. It's really anything you want. It's really cool. There's just auto features instead of, unless you, you just want 
you know, plain. But there's night, that. It's beautiful. Now, let's go back. So, let's delete these real quick. Let's go to terrain. For strength, for size, some raise terrain. What if you want to make some sort of 3D map of hills? Let's smooth, let's smooth some of these pieces out. Let's let's make some divots. Let's make a large hole. What if the party is stuck in that, right? Caves? That's cool. Look at that. Let's carve the cave. through. Let's erase some of the floor. Look at that. We already got an entrance. Let's redraw cave ceiling. Gives us a shadow. Look at that. So detailed. Shadows off. It's beautiful. Let's change terrain type. Let's uh let's do It's just the base parchment, uh, parchment, if you didn't want anything. It's just snow. Look at that. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. Skeletal planes? I don't know what that is, but that sounds sick. That is terrifying. I love that, though. Uh, let's let's make that, uh, let's make a ravine with lava flow. Change terrain. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's just uh, let's just go to dark parchment. Let me show you effects. So, in your map, you can add effects. Let's grab uh, let's just draw a room. Let's make a make a burial chamber. Now let's add some effects. Let me add oh, this fire on the thing over here. Look at that. Look at that. Let's make some eternal flames. Some corners. Isn't that beautiful? Let's make magic. What about fireflies? Do fireflies everywhere. What about electronic arcs? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is getting a little crazy, you know? So, let's change that. Let's just kind of limit it. Let's remove some of that. Yeah. What about some will o' wisps? Look at that. Not feeling that? Okay. Let's go to fog with black smoke. Necrotic fog. Steam. Do cold fog, wispy white fog, blue smoke, green swirling mist. Now it kind of lags your computer a little bit. So I would personally keep them down just a tad. Do cinders. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Gives me so many ideas for <laughs> stuff. Let's go to floor tiles. So you can place doors wherever you want. Look at that door. Place this door. Or let's place this door. Okay. What about some windows? Let's get something that doesn't fit at all. Let's make some wacky building. Let's get a bay window. <laughs> Look at that. Let's get, uh, let's do walls. Let's do iron walls. So let's replace all the walls with the iron. Let's do all the walls in temple stone. Let's do fences. Let's do ice banisters. Let's do cloth like it's a tent. It's endless. And you know what? Let's replace the floor. 
Let's uh acid. Let's replace the entire floor with acid. That kind of hurts the the PC, but you know, acid. Look at this acid filled room. Well, let's I don't know. Let's do some iron grading. Let's want some iron grades. I think it's Minecraft. Kind of looks like scaffolding. Let's look at that. What if one went really deep pit in the middle? Wow. Yeah, that's how a player dies right there. Character gone. Do you want to be a ruthless DM? Look at that. Festive? <laughs> Gingerbread tiles? Yeah, sure. Love that. Let's do uh, gingerbread. Alright. So what I'm saying is that this game, or this genera generator, is endless. And it has endless opportunity for ideas. And if you just simply click generate, what if you just get a story? Oh, I want a fisherman at the end of this dock. I want to make a water canal. You, it's just, it's generation for imagination, creation, creativity. It's, it's, what if you, what if you have been DMing for a long time? You've been making all your own maps. You're kind of getting exhausted. Right here. This is your new dock map. Let's yes, say so you want export. Bam. And that's yours. You can add anything you want to it. Remove anything. I want a dock. I want a broken rowboat. So I want a dock. Right there. Raft. Right there. Right there. And that is Dungeon Alchemist on Steam. Feel free to go ahead now. Purchase it. Really fun game. And uh, I think if you are really into D&D, &D, I think you'd really enjoy it. Thank you for watching.